make in this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot ABS and tra traction control issues on a Mercedes vehicle. Uh, so some models might have traction control, stability control, you know, uh, so all those systems are interconnected. So as soon as there is an issue, for example, with the ABS wheel speed sensor, you're going to have a, a number of warning on the instrument cluster. You're going to have your ABS light come on. You're going to have your traction control come on. In this case, we have RBS. It depends what it's called on your model and what, what model you have on the vehicle. So we're going to use the Ucanic full system scanner to diagnose the ABS system and the traction control system on, on a vehicle. So what you want to do is you want to go to um, diagnostics and then select Mercedes from the list of makes. And then here uh, you will need to select the model, which you could do here, but you'll need to know which which chassis your car is. So instead of doing that, do smart VIN and then select OK. Select left or left hand steer or right if that's the case. And then uh, you can do a couple of things. You can run a quick scan. Quick scan is going to go through all the control modules on the car. Mercedes could have, you know, uh, 50 up to 50 control modules. So instead of doing that, since we're only focusing on the um, ABS and traction control and uh, those warning lights, we want to just select control modules, then go to chassis, and then come down here. You need to find the ABS system as what controls. A lot of times it's one control module that does the ABS traction control, stability control. In this case, um, this is a hybrid and it's called RBS. On some other models, it will... It's called ESP, Electronic Stability Program. Um, but it's going to be in here. And if you're not sure which one it is, going back and doing a quick scan. And it will go through the control modules and show you the ones that have faults. Uh, that's another way to do it. But in this case, we know it's called RBS. So let's go in here. And of course, it could be called just ABS. But that's only uh, for the, the early models. As now Mercedes, you know, combines everything into one. And Mercedes have more... And just ABS, uh, it's going to be at least stability control and traction control system in there as well. So it might not show as ABS in that menu there. But if you enter it, um, then you'll be able to read the codes. And then here we can see why the, uh, those warning lights are coming up. So this might take a few seconds to uh, read the codes. That's it. Um, it's, it's showing us the codes now. In this case, uh, there's quite a few issues going on. But what's important to realize is that these, um, they have, here we have the code, but here we have the status of the code. It says stored. Those stored ones, you can hit erase and they will clear. Even though sometimes you might not want to do that, especially if it's a car that uh, has issues that um, are hard and to troubleshoot, those stored codes can help you because that, that could be an indication of intermediate issue that just comes and goes. And at the moment you're reading, it's, it's not present. So that that store you don't want to always clear them but if that's um what you want to focus on is those that say store and current or just current so you can see the right front and left front uh, uh abs wheel speed sensors uh in this case i uh, have fault the pedal um has fault and it gives us the, the component number in there so you can see all of them in this list so that's what i'm going to focus on so if we hit erase we're going to erase just the codes that are stored so let's do that and the current one will return sometimes they might not return right away but we do want to turn off the ignition wait 10, 10 seconds and then turn it back on And we'll see that a lot of those codes will be cleared, especially things like low voltage. Uh, for example, the, if the battery died, uh, it's going to throw a code in there. It's going to be stored, and one of them it was in that list. So most of the codes, they're clear. So now we have a few issues going on. So we, if you want to do further troubleshooting, uh, you can go to live data. And then you can check things like uh, if you click RPM sensor, this is actually showing the speeds of each of the ind individual wheels. So if you suspect you have a bad ABS wheel speed sensor, you don't need to go replace all of them. What you do is um, come to this screen, you can start the car, have somebody be with you so they can hold this uh, while you're driving for just for safety reasons. And then these values will change as you start to drive. Uh, let's go back here. You can see things like the steering angle sensor. You can turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and then you will see that value change there 
and then the same thing if you turn all the way to the other it's gonna go with negative value and if you're on center you should be at zero so you can do things like that a monitor things that you suspect might be an issue uh, you can you can check the values slide in here but uh, brake pedal sensitive pressure sensors things of that nature so if, if that doesn't give you enough information like in this case oh it, it was telling us the different ABS wheel speed sensors that were defective if that doesn't then the next thing that I would do is run a quick scan this actually does take a, a few minutes but it goes through all the systems and then it'll tell us the codes and a lot of times you might have a issue somewhere else you might have an issue in the in the transmission for example and it's affecting the uh, the ABS system or the traction control or you might have an issue on one of the lateral sensors of th things of that nature this our test vehicle has a lot of issues so um, don't panic hopefully your car is not gonna look like this and if you do have some codes it's very common to have low voltage codes make sure that the battery when you're running diagnostics it's above 11 at least uh, if it drops uh, below you can see the voltage right there at the top left here but if it drops below 10.5 volts a lot of the systems not only do they throw a code for low voltage but a lot of time they'll shut down and you can't communicate with them you can't troubleshoot them and things of that nature this kind of will work if the engine is running as well um, you just want to be careful with uh, doing tests and um, bidirectional testing and things of that nature because you don't want to um, uh, do something that's going to uh, cause the engine to shut down or, or transmission to change gears while you're driving so be careful if you are uh, having the engine running um, the kind of test and what you're doing but um, that's it um, the, usually the, just reading the codes from that uh, ABS or the ESP or the RBS in this case um, is going to give you a good idea why your ABS stability control and traction control light uh, might be on a lot of times it's as simple as replacing our ABS wheel speed sensor but uh, this will confirm if there's other issues then you'll know if you are trying to connect to that uh, uh, ABS or ESP or the control module that are responsible for these systems and you can't communicate to it is either one because that module is seeing very low voltage it's not woken up so make sure you check the, 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 the battery uh, for the car uh, there's a blown fuse a damaged wire it could also be that that module is defective itself and needs to be repaired or replaced and uh, if that's the case you might end up getting a, a, a status like no response to the request for the requested codes and then when you connect that module you'll say no communication so keep that in mind as well and that's it thank you for watching mechanic where you can be the mechanic